Hello and welcome to this online system demonstration for the UATTEND Time and Attendance System. My name is Abby and I'm a member of Chronologic's Sales and Customer Service team. I specialise in two of our cloud-based offerings, both the UATTEND and Citadel system. A little bit of background on Chronologic. We were founded in 2000 and we specialise in the time and attendance sector. And we provide both off the shelf and bespoke solutions to suit a wide variety of business needs. Today, we are focusing on the UATTEND system. A little bit of background on UATTEND. It is developed in the US by a company called Workwell Technologies. Chronologic are the UK and EU reseller and we work alongside Workwell to ensure that you attend is fit for the UK market. Some of the benefits is you attend is a cloud-based time and attendance system, which means you can access your data from any web browser enabled device at any time. And you can choose from any of our six clocking methods and mix them and match them as required. All of Chronologic's cloud-based offerings come with free setup, training and ongoing UK-based help desk support, Monday to Friday, nine to five, all with no contract, time period and hidden fees. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the UATTEND cloud portal so that you can see how it would work and how it will benefit your business. So this is the dashboard. This is the first screen that you'll see when you log into your UATTEND account. And from here, we've got the clocking status. So when you click on in, you can see anyone who's currently clocked into the system, the time and date that they've clocked from and how they've clocked as well. And with this one, you do also get the same for anyone out of the system or on their break or lunch. So this view can be seen by both supervisors and administrators of the account. And each user can have a different view and they can customize it to make it so they can see exactly what they need to. Users. So you have three different types of user within the UATEN system. You've got the main administrator of the account, who is the person that has access to absolutely everything. We then have supervisors, who are a second level of system user. And the great thing about these guys is you can give them access to as much or as little as you'd like. So you can give them responsible departments. So say you've got a sales manager and you wanna make it so they can only see the sales office. You just select that department or you can select multiples and that way they can just see the employees within those departments. Whereas if you leave them all unticked, they will be able to see all of the departments. You can then also give them employee rights, which enables them to add employees or even archive them. You can give them time card edit rights, which gives them access to add things to the time card. And then department rights. If you turn this one on, it means that they can set up any business rules or add new departments. The other feature that you can give both supervisors and administrators access to is the smartphone app. So I'm gonna be using an emulator, just gonna put it up now. And this is what the app looks like. So it's very similar to the clocking status on the dashboard. And what it is, is it means that if you're on the go, you're able to see anyone who's clocked in or in the event of evacuation from site, you can log into your app and you don't need to worry about waiting for the printer to print off a piece of paper. The last type of user is an employee. And this is anyone who physically needs to clock into the system. They are super simple to add. You just click on add user. You would select their role as an employee, pop in all of their details and the clocking management number that applies to the clocking type that you are gonna be using. And it's as simple as that. Reports. So as you can see, UATTEND has a wide variety of reports available. To start with, I'm gonna cover the pay period report. So this report is specifically for payroll and it exports all of the data that you're gonna require for it. And we can also do custom exports for payroll bureaus, such as Sage, QuickBooks, and others. We then have the availability for cost center analysis using our time card report. 
And you can also use the average hours report for anyone who is on a flexi or zero hours contract in order to pay their holiday entitlement. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull off the, the pay period report for you. So you can see exactly what is included within the subscription for the reporting. There we go. So this exports the employee name, the payroll ID if you popped one in, and then it separates all of your hours out into regular hours, overtime rate one and two, any annual leave, bank holiday, sickness, other, and a total as well. So that one will work really nicely for your payroll. Status. So the last tab that we have is the status. Um, this, again, is very similar to the clocking report that we have on the dashboard and also the smartphone app. The biggest bonus on this one is you can print directly from this page. So in the event of an evacuation, you can tick people off when you see them. Now, that's all I'm going to cover for the, the system within this demonstration. If you would like further information or if you would like to go through anything in more detail, please do contact us and we can get you booked in for a bespoke demonstration of the system. But before you go, I am going to show you the clocking methods that we have. So within you attend, we do have six different clocking methods that you can use and you can mix and match them as required. So we have facial recognition. Some of our newer terminals also offer offline clocking. So in the event that your internet drops out, the terminal will remember the clock time. And then once the internet connection is re-established, it will put that, push that through to our cloud account. And with facial recognition, we do also have temperature scanning as well. And with this one, you can set a threshold. And if anyone's temperature is above that threshold, you can actually lock them out from clocking, which means they will not be able to clock into the system. Not only do we have facial recognition, but we have fingerprint recognition as well. And again, with this one, offline clocking is available with our newer terminal. And if you don't want to use biometrics, we do have RFID clocking. And with this terminal, you can use either an RFID card, a FOB, or a PIN number if preferred. We then also have web clocking, which is done using a web portal on any web browser enabled device. We have phone clocking, whereby you phone up a number from either a mobile or a landline. And we also have the smartphone app for employees. So this is what the smartphone app would look like for a member of the, your team. And what you see is you can see that they're currently clocked in and all they do to clock in or out of the system, or even clock for a break or lunch, is they find the button that they want and they press and hold it for two seconds. Once that's done, it will show you this screen just here, so it will let them know that they have clocked out and the time and date that they've done that one. So that's the app. It is super simple to use. They just download it, clock in, clock out, and it will also geolocate them at point of clock. So it will tell you exactly where they're clocking from when they clock in with this one. The last thing that I'm going to cover in this demonstration today is the pricing. Where the attend system is a cloud-based system, it is paid for by a monthly subscription model. Now on the screen in front of you, we have each of the different bands available, ranging from one to nine employees right the way through to 100 plus. All you need to do is choose the plan that works for you sign up for your account. Now with that one, there's no contract or time period. So what you can do is you can move yourself up and down the bandings as required, or you can cancel it at any time. Thank you for your time today. And should you require anything further, please call us in the number in the description found below. Have a lovely day.